Hello, my name is Daniel Plain. This is the Real Cello Studios. Welcome back. Today is phase two of our exploration of Soldier's Joy. So if you are just starting out and you need a really, really simple version of this, um, this might actually still work for you to start. But there's even a simpler version uh, that I recorded, so go look for that. If you can play the really simple version with clean string crossings and an in-tune left hand, it's, it's designed to be very simple to make sure that your setup on the instrument is, is going well and that you're, you're getting the basics here. Um, and this new version is going to be fleshed out a little bit and um, just introduce some, some new challenges for you and a couple of new elements. Here, instead of just quarters and halves, we're going to be adding some eighth notes in. And so, for example, instead of starting... We're going to put in what's called a pickup or an upbeat. And if you count the beats of the measure here, it's going to be one, two, three, four. So we're going to be adding some eighth notes in through the whole tune, filling out the skeleton just a little bit um, and, and try to move everyone closer to a more full version of this. So uh, here's, here's the tune as I teach it version two here. So same note to start, F sharp, and we're gonna do eighth note pickups walking up the D scale to the A, so. And that's the upbeat, so you can do that. F sharp, G, A, and we go right into the quarter notes that we already know. So we're just adding this upbeat so far. Instead of just landing on this D here, we're going to add an eighth note neighbor tone here. So instead of just quarter half, we have D down to C sharp and back. So if you put the, all that together, it's walking up from the F sharp, quarters, and neighbor tone. Now from there, we're going to walk down kind of like another upbeat into the next mini section of this down the D scale. So we just ended on a D, C sharp, B, A, just straight down like that. So after that neighbor tone. So if we put all of that together, um, we're going to end up We do the same thing, add a neighbor tone underneath that E. So instead of just quarter, half, we're filling it out a little bit with a little neighbor tone there. Let's go ahead and try that. And we'll put this whole thing together. Two, three. Scale down. Tone. Same pickup, just like the first part. So for the last part of the A, we're going to have a pattern that's long, short, short, long, short, short, long. And this is a really important pattern in all sorts of fiddle styles, so we want to get comfortable with it. And this is kind of designed to be a little bit of a finger twister especially if you're just getting started because there's a couple different unique patterns in here. So the pickup to this last part is walking up from the D again. Now we're going to hop back down to the D from an F sharp. So F sharp, D, and then go up to E. So let's put those together. That's going to be walking up from the D, hopping down, and back up to an E. Now the next pattern, it stays on that E, up to an F sharp, and then hops down to D. So those three together, walking up, hopping down, step up and hop down. Then we have a neighbor tone. So that's the end of the A, from the, the pickup to that last little piece, walking up the D. So 
So the whole A section is going to sound like this. Pick up from F sharp. Move our quarters. Add the neighbor tone. Walk down. Add the neighbor tone. Pick up. Neighbor tone. Pick up from the D. repeat of the A would start. Now the pickup to the B is really similar, but instead of walking up the scale from F sharp, we're walking up from open D. Now, was how we learned it originally, and we're just going to add one more quarter note back down to the F sharp. So, hit the pickup, now back down to F sharp. Uh, one little tip here is, your hand is is properly set up and in the right shape if you can play that A string underneath your fingertips that are still down. So you can walk up to this F sharp. After you play the G here, you can just let go of your pinky, play the open A with your fingers still down, and go back to that F sharp. So this is this is a uh, one little indicator that your left hand is being set up correctly. So again, that little first section of the B. This is the same. Good. Same thing here. Quarters. And this is the same as the old version. The second half of the B starts just the same as the first half. F sharp. Quarters. And we continue our quarters, hopping down to this E. So the quarters go all the way through both those bars. One more time. And then we have the same tag as we have in the A. So that whole B sounds like this. Pick up from the D. Quarters. And of course, if you're repeating the B, then you would start that next pickup from the D. Or if you're going back to the beginning of the tune and starting over on the A, then you start on your pickup on the F sharp. And that's the next version of this tune. Thanks for tuning in.